to create your first page of the My Dashboard page, drag the column object onto the Page Layout pane. You release it, you drag and drop. The column objects appears on the Page Layout pane as you can notice. In the Catalog pane, navigate to the folder where you saved all your analysis. My folders, paint reports, and I'll pick any one of these reports to add to there. So you keep drag and drop, and then you save it and run it. That is how simply you add objects to a dashboard. So if you want to return to the edit dashboard view, you will go back to the more options then you select the edit dashboard option and this returns us into the edit mode we can return to the home page and now this part will show you how to create a dashboard to create a new dashboard you will perform the following steps you click the new button and then select dashboard in the global header The new dialog box, the new dashboard dialog box appears. You enter sales details as a dashboard name. Notice that you can also enter a description for this choice. And then we will choose paint reports folder in which to save our dashboard so you navigate to your paint reports folder and select it as the location browse paint reports it's automatically selected here you click ok and the dashboard will not appear in the dashboard menu that is fine you click ok and then ok again so the sales details dashboard have been created and saved in the paint paint reports folder next navigate to the paint report one analysis and drag it from the catalog to the page layout pane you save it and run it Notice that this is a similar report that we use on the My Dashboard dashboard. Uh, this is a new dashboard that we've created from scratch, which is not necessarily using an existing template. So to return to the edit mode, go to the options, choose edit dashboard, and this returns us to the edit mode. If we wanted to add additional items to this dashboard, we would simply navigate to the Paint Reports folder, which is where we saved most of our reports that we've worked with so far. And then we can grab any one report, drag it over to the Page Layout pane. Once you notice the blue bar appear, you release it and forms part of the section. And then you can save it and run it and then review the outlook of your dashboard. Notice that this is report 7 and this is report 1. And we have results uh, displayed in so many different ways for the same product. So we'll return to the edit mode. If you wish to edit your dashboard, you will perform all the functions of editing the dashboard in the edit mode. To begin by editing your dashboard we can perform those demonstrations by going back to the my dashboard at the first dashboard but created using the template so you will return to dashboards then you select my dashboard recall that this is the first dashboard that we created and we saved an analysis on it or report one if you like then you click on the page options toolbar and then select edit dashboard 
this brings us back to the edit mode. If we wanted to give this page one a more meaningful name, all we'd simply do is go to the dashboard properties, and you go to the dashboard properties by clicking on the tools bar and then selecting dashboard properties. Once we get to the dashboard properties, the next thing that we want to do is, is to select the page that we want to modify, and then we can choose rename. But before we do that, I would like to give you an overview of the different parts of the dashboard properties page so you can understand what is all these different options are used for. The change styles. The change styles option controls how dashboards and results are formatted for display, such as the color of text and links, the font and size of text, the borders in the tables, the colors and attributes of graphs, and so on. Adding a description here. Descriptions are displayed when the Oracle Business Intelligence Administrators use the Catalog Manager. Add hidden prompts, filters, and variables. This allows you to add hidden prompts, filters, and variables. Specify the links that will display with analysis on the dashboard. This option, Dashboard Report Links, allows you to specify the links that will display with analysis on a dashboard. Rename hide, reorder, set permissions for and delete dashboard pages. All these are options that allow to rename, hide, reorder, and set permissions for the dashboard based on your needs and your users' needs. Select page one in the dashboard section. The dashboard page control toolbar enables Using the toolbar, you can click on the rename icon to change the name of your dashboard page. We will rename page 1 to Sales Revenue. And then you will click OK to close the Rename dialog box. The Dashboard Properties dialog box reappears with a new dashboard name. Click the edit icon for dashboard report links to set the report links at the dashboard level. Report links can be set at the dashboard, dashboard page, click page options, page report links, or analysis level. You have to click the properties icon for the specific analysis within the dashboard builder and then select report links. So we'll go ahead and select the checkboxes as shown. After clicking on the dashboard reports link, the only ones that should not be checked is the export and copy, and the checking of these options will be selected at a later point. You will click OK and then click OK again to return to the dashboard builder. To add a dashboard page, you will click on the Add Dashboard Page icon and enter the name Paint Cells for the dashboard page as indicated here. In the Catalog pane, you can go ahead and click OK and then we will we'll navigate to the Paint report folder and then pick any report from there. So we go expand the my folders and expand paint reports folder again. And we will choose report 4 and drag it and drop it on the page layer of paint. Save it and run it. Wanted to make sure that. Report 4 has details, that's why we saved it and ran it. So we'll go ahead and return to the edit mode, choose the options, and then edit dashboard. 
to edit the properties of the column, click the column properties icon and then select column properties. The column properties dialog box appears. Using the column properties dialog box, you can change the appearance of the cells, border, width, height, and so on. You can also apply a custom style sheet. Select the drop down list for background color within the cell area and choose light green. Click OK, then click OK to close the column properties dialog box. Next, click Preview to preview the dashboard. Notice that the background color has changed from the plain white to the light green that we just selected in the preceding step. You can close out the preview to return to the edit mode. If you wanted to edit the properties of a section, you use the sec section properties drop down list to perform the task as uh, described. Format section. Use this option to display the section properties dialog where you specify the properties for the section, such as cell alignment and border color. Rename. Use this option to display the rename dialog box, which allows you to rename the section drill in place. Use this option to specify how the results appear when a user drills in an analysis. If a check mark appears in front of the drill in place option, the original analysis is replaced with the user drills. The section will automatically resize to fit the new analysis. If the check mark is not present in front of the drill in place, the entire dashboard content is replaced. Use this option for prompts that are created for hierarchical columns. Collapsible. Use this option to specify whether the user can expand and collapse this section on a dashboard page or whether the section is always expanded. If a check mark appears in front of the collapsible section or option, you can expand and collapse this section. Show section header. Use this option to specify whether to display the header for the section, which initially includes the title of the section. You can hide the title using this uh, option, show section title option. Use this option to specify whether to display the title of the section or not. When you have more than one analysis within the section, you can also align the analysis by using the vertical and horizontal alignment icons appearing right to the section properties box. Next, click the properties drop down list for the section and select condition. The section condition dialog box appears. You use conditions to determine whether sections and their content appear on the dashboard page. Agents deliver their content and execute their actions. Action links appear on dashboard pages. Conditions are evaluated based on a Boolean expression. In other words, the condition is either true or false. Set a condition that determines whether the analysis appears on the dashboard. Click the new condition icon and the new condition dialog box appears. Then browse the catalog and select the new report that you want to set the condition for. We will pick report number two from the paint reports folder and say OK. And then we want to set a condition that if true row count is greater than 1, then we want this report to appear on the dashboard. 
So we would set the condition to 1. And then test the condition. The condition evaluates to true. Say OK. And then you click OK. And then you click OK. If you wanted to remove the condition that you just placed on your report, you will have to go back to the edit mode, section properties, and then you select condition. Click to edit the condition and remove condition. And you click OK. Save your analysis and run it. That removes the condition that you created earlier, which was checking if any row count is true, then display this report on the dashboard. Return to the edit mode and then rename the section of the dashboard. Click the properties within the section then rename. The rename dialog box will appear. And name this section Paint Cells with Line Graph. And then click on the properties icon to modify the section headings change the font color to blue then you click ok change from font effects to underline the section heading properties dialog box should and then save it and run it. Okay, we'll return to the edit mode. Now return to the properties of the section and then choose show title, section title. Save it and run it. Notice that the section title appears in blue, the font color that you chose, and also it's underlined, which is the effect that you also chose. Return to the edit mode. Next, we want to override the default dashboard report links at the analysis level. Click the properties icon for the analysis. And then the report links dialog box will appear. Once the report links dialog box appear, select the customize radio button and then select all check boxes. Then click OK. Save and run the dashboard page. You are now able to export and copy this analysis from the dashboard. You have multiple options here. There's print, export, add to briefing books, and then copy the dashboard. This concludes the first part of building dashboards, which demonstrated how to add an analysis to an empty page layout pane, and then modify that page layout pane to display the section header, as well as perform other customizations to to your dashboard the next section i will show you how to save a customized dashboard and then set preferences i look forward to showing you the next section